Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, a new business that highlights other local businesses opens. We'll take you to Bridgeport to see what they're selling. Plus, an exotic animal show took place in Morgantown today. We'll show you all the crawly creatures. After a lot of wintry mess over the past few days, sunshine and warmer temperatures are on the way. I'll have those details coming up as 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. Josh, that snow was just brutal last night. Hopefully uh, it is out of the way and we don't get any more. What's our forecast looking yeah, like? It is, Gina. Thankfully, those snow showers and clouds are beginning to move out of our region as we speak with some sunshine on the way for tomorrow and into next week with much milder, warmer conditions than what we have been seeing recently. We get right back around to average as we look overnight into tomorrow. 10 degrees is what we drop down to tonight. Very, very frigid temperatures out there. Make sure you are bundling up, but it is going to clear out and be relatively calm in terms of wind. But 43 for a high tomorrow. Sunny skies with a much warmer right around average for this time of year. And then as we look into the beginning of the week, the mostly sunny skies tomorrow, and then we have a chance for some flurries into the evening hours Monday, but still a lot of sun out there. Gina. Thanks, Josh. The Robinson Grand Performing Arts Center had to reschedule the Mark Wills concert that was originally scheduled for tonight due to dangerous weather-related travel conditions for the artist and its band members. The concert has been rescheduled for Saturday, March 19th at 8 p.m. Any tickets purchased for the February 4th show will be honored in March. Officials also say that the Robinson Grand Performing Arts Center is constantly working to present a variety of cultural and arts experiences within a unique moder modernized historical setting in downtown Clarksburg. Market on Main held their soft opening today in Bridgeport. On West Main Street, the new business only sells products from West Virginia vendors like art and woodwork. Over 30 vendors were handpicked to display and sell their products at the new business. The co-owners hope to make the building a gathering place for the community to show local to showcase local businesses. Come shop here, support small, support local. It can be kind of a one-stop shop. You know, you can get groceries here. You can get, you know, different household items here. Like, it's not so much just a place you come to shop for a special occasion. One thing that I tell our makers, you know, when people do come in and get a chance to meet them and to see the faces and the families that are behind that product and, you know, who um, their purchases, who that supports, and to hear the stories about, you know, why people started doing it, you know, why Stephanie started making soap. I think all of those stories are interesting. An organic grocery store is expected to open in the business in March. The Holiday Inn in Morgantown hosted their exotic animal and reptile expo today. 20 different vendors set up and showcased hundreds of different species and the materials to properly care for each one. One vendor says they use this opportunity to educate the community about reptiles and build the future generation of their keepers. The education of how to properly care for the animal is the most important thing. You know, you just can't pick up a reptile and you know put it in a box. You need to be educated on how to properly care for these animals. Literally, the vendors here are uh, very experienced, very knowledgeable, and if you're going to want to learn about reptile keeping, this is the place to come. The Morgantown Exotic Animal and Reptile Expo is a bi-monthly expo, so the next one will be coming up in April. The Lunar New Year started this week, so welcome to the Year of the Tiger. The tiger is said to be a positive sign, the fierce feline fighting back against evil. Jolene Kent wanted to find out, does being born in the Year of the Tiger give Olympians an edge in the hunt for a gold? The Year of the Tiger is roaring in. This Lunar New Year ushering in the third animal of the 12 in the Chinese Zodiac. You will inspire the world with the same ambition, courage, and strength like the year of the tiger. 
At the Beijing Winter Olympics, tenacious Tiger athletes like snowboarder Sean White are preparing to pounce in their big year. Sean White takes the gold! White sights set on his fourth Olympic gold. I love to snowboard and to perform and to you know, compete under pressure. As like a, someone who's born in the year of Tiger, I would definitely say I'm quite competitive. Team USA aerial skier Winter Vinecki is an Earth Tiger born in 1998. She ran marathons on all seven continents before turning 15. I'm pretty fierce and determined in a lot of aspects of my life, and if I see something I want, I'll go after it. Tigers are known to be born leaders who are courageous and energetic fierce competitors who love risk. I definitely think I'm, I'm driven and a little bit of a lone tiger at some points. Tell me more about that. What do you mean? I've had an amazing support system, but when it comes down to it, a lot of the time it's myself pushing my own boundaries and seeing what I'm capable of. Born in 1986, biathlete Susan Dunkley is a fire tiger. She says she's always up for a challenge, balancing skiing and shooting. You can go be in third place one day and you can be in 80th place the next. And I think it takes a lot of courage to be able to stick with challenges like that. Tigers are also said to be sensitive, funny, and at times outspoken. Not all are aggressive. I'm just trying to stay in the moment, have fun. Free skier Alex Hall, born in 1998, says he tries not to take life too seriously. And I think that's what makes him such a fun skier to watch. You gotta trying to have fun with everything and if I keep it lighthearted that just helps kind of my performance and my whole experience at the games. Zodiac enthusiasts say Tigers will find good fortune this year by wearing red and good luck in the numbers one and three, digits that happen to be synonymous with gold and bronze. Well, Dunkley's got two out of three. You need to put in a whole lot of work and you also need a little luck in order to achieve those high results. Hard work and a little luck propelling Tigers to the top of competition in their special year. Queen Elizabeth II and Lady Gaga are both Tigers. The next year of the Tiger is 2034. And don't forget to tune into the Olympic Zone right here on WBOY tonight at 7.30. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, a special anniversary for Britain tomorrow. Celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee are underway. We'll show you how she's preparing. And later, Abby Backenstow will bring us the latest in the 12 Sports Zone. Stick with us. How did you sleep last night? Purchasing a new mattress is an investment towards a good night's sleep. Experience the Beautyrest Black, the luxury sleep at Jack's Furniture. Beautyrest Black is our premier line and features the greatest innovations, plus get free delivery, free setup and removal. Jack's Furniture Center. Gone are the days of scrubbing mold and mildew from tile. Bad Lizard Granite and Quartz are now selling and installing Venetian marble showers. It's faster to install, less maintenance, and about half the cost of your standard custom tile installation. Bad Lizard customers are raving about the process, the look, and the price. It was so efficient. By the next morning, we could use our shower. The cost of it, the time it took, the design is just what we were wanting. We're very happy with it. Come see Bad Lizard at the Morgantown Home Show on March 11th through 13th at Milan Park. TGI Fridays in Bridgeport invites you to great food, great service, and even better deals. Choose from our signature entrees like our whiskey glazed ribs, chicken and salmon, or our signature whiskey bacon burger. Call and make a reservation today or order online and utilize our curbside pickup. It's all at TGI Fridays at White Oaks in Bridgeport. Great food, great service. Come join us at Fridays. Come eat with us. A few seconds later, I just saw him fall in. So happy to be joined now by the woman who made this miracle happen. She saved those three kids in that pond. I was just trying to grab her and pull her up and was kind of more worried about her than I was me. There's nothing like a conversation with someone who's just candid or just vulnerable. She saved my baby. She's a hero right now. The news isn't always great, and tonight it really was fantastic. I think people don't realize how good we really can be when we're at our best. How did you sleep last night? Purchasing a new mattress is an investment towards a good night's sleep. Experience the Beautyrest Black, the luxury sleep at Jack's Furniture. Beautyrest Black is our premier line and features the greatest innovations, plus get free delivery, free setup and removal. Jack's Furniture Center.
working for you. This is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. One person is dead and several others were injured in a shooting Friday night in Virginia. Late Friday night, police were called to the scene of a mass shooting at a lounge near Virginia Tech University. One person was killed and four others were injured and taken to nearby hospitals, one of which who is a Virginia Tech student, according to the university. The severity of the injuries of the four individuals is not known at this time. Police say they are now investigating the shooting in downtown Blacksburg as a homicide. Officials have not released any details about what led to the shooting, and they have not said if anyone has been arrested in connection with the incident. Now to some good news. Queen Elizabeth II will celebrate the 70th anniversary of her induction to the British throne tomorrow. Yesterday, she viewed a series of items from the Royal Archives ahead of her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The items shown to the Queen included a series of cards and paintings drawn by children to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2002. Elizabeth ascended to the throne at age 25 on February 6, 1952, after the death of her father, George VI. Since then, presidents, popes, and prime ministers have come and gone. The Soviet Union has collapsed, and Britain's own once mighty empire has dissipated, replaced by a commonwealth of 54 nations, which Elizabeth was instrumental in creating. Now, the area's most accurate forecast storm tracker 12 weather. Certified